she going to return to the 1080? Yes. She is. Flipside 1080, Kelly Clark. I realized a while ago that if my dream only included me, my dream was too small. There's a lot of young kids who don't have anyone to look up to in aquatics. It's really important for me to bring more people of color into our sport and into swimming. I remember when Gabby won the Olympics, I was super excited because it was somebody who looked just like me and I felt like if she can do it, then I can do it one day. Underway, one run of two. I started snowboarding for it was cool. Back to the top for the second round action. Kelly Clark, she's in sixth after the first run. A teenager, a relative unknown nationwide, but making a mark. There was no such thing as the X Games. It was long before it was an Olympic sport, and there simply weren't as many women snowboarding when I started. I was one one girl in a group of guys. I've had great support from my family, from my friends, um, just because a lot of my friends grew up in the sport as well. Um, coaches were also very supportive. They knew that I could go far in the sport, but it was getting me to believe it myself. It actually wasn't until I was 16 years old and I went to my first world championships and even at that time I didn't know what I was capable of because I was a rookie and there were a lot of veterans. Some people were even competing at the Olympics and I had to compete against them. And I was like, there is no way this is going to go well. And then I ended up beating some of them and I was like, wow, I kind of have really good potential. I've never been in spaces where there have been a lot of people who look like me, and water polo was just another one of those. I have four siblings. We swam for about a month and then started water polo, and it was like an instant connection. I loved it. Once I started doing national team, I was alone. I was without my sister, without my brothers, and I was just in a completely new environment. It was being black in a predominantly white space. Being from a Caribbean family, it was just kind of a different experience. Learning the rules of being black in America, learning what you were gonna experience, learning how you should protect yourself, how you should protect your siblings. I went through a whirlwind of emotions during that time, and it's not easy, we all deal with it differently, but afterwards I felt relieved, and I felt like I could help other females or other athletes come out about their stories and not be afraid to, because holding, holding that to myself was really tough, but once I spoke out about it, it was kind of like a weight off my shoulders. I wanted to figure out a way how to make the things that I've learned, um, the lessons that I've learned, the tricks that I've learned, really transfer the, to the next generation. And so with your peers, I find it's not always easy to influence them, especially in a competitive arena. You can't receive from people that you're threatened by. But all these young women were coming up after, after my generation and I, I wasn't a threat. I was established. I was the person that they had on their wall growing up. I wasn't defined by what I accomplished and I wasn't threatened by someone replacing me. I'm very much aware that uh, records are meant to be broken. My last Olympics was in Korea and I rode my heart out. Uh, I left everything out there and I ended up in fourth place. I really wanted that fairy tale ending to get one more medal in my last Olympics, but I was really proud of my performance nonetheless and the U.S. team allows every athlete to give an award to someone who they think has supported their dream the most. Chloe, who had won the event, who, who I met for the first time in, in a lift line in Mammoth, um, when she tugged on my, my sleeve of my jacket and asked to go up the lift with me, and she couldn't have been more than 10 years old. There would be no Chloe Kim if it weren't for Kelly Clark. Kelly paving the way throughout the years and pushing Chloe. 
she ended up giving me this award saying that this is the person who's invested the most in my career to see me be successful. And it was the first time in the history of the award that it's ever gone to an athlete. I've gotten so many opportunities from the people who have made me be able to see my potential and made me be able to believe that I can do it. My sister and I had an idea to start a swim school. Most of their kids come from low socioeconomic status backgrounds. They're kids of color. They don't know how to swim. And we're in Miami. We're near huge bodies of water. So many people die from drowning, and it's such a preventable and solvable issue. Historically, Black people and people of color have been barred from accessing aquatics have been told this narrative that um, we're not supposed to swim, black people don't swim. It's not good for your hair, it's not good for your skin. When you're told something enough times, it becomes part of your history, it becomes part of your legacy. I've just been kind of along for the ride and I can use what I've learned and what I have to give to bring someone else along for the ride. I remember being young and watching Serena and watching all of these other great athletes break records and make history. And you're like, I wonder what if I did that one day? And now I did. And now I don't know what to think. <laughs> <laughs>